It's time for Ryan's Roses. As a public service, if something's going down in your relationship, you want us to try and help out, let us know about it via email. Now it's time for Ryan's Roses. Uh, it's a public service as a last resort. Dear Ryan and Sissini, listen to this. My husband called me by the wrong name the other night. No. At dinner. Oh, yeah. dinner. Okay, yeah. but still. What? Yeah, but still, you're sitting there. Let me get... Uh, Leslie, good morning. It is, uh, it's nice to have you on. I'm sorry it's under these circumstances, but tell me, when, when your husband called you the wrong name, what happened after that? Um, well, I, I started to check his phone. Like, later that night, I was able to grab it, and I, I started to go through it, which, like, isn't great, but, you know, what else was I supposed to do? Um, and so I saw that the name Julie... Uh, was in his contact, but that the text chain was empty. So either, I don't know, I don't know if they, he had been texting with her and he deleted them. I don't know. Mm-hmm. So he called uh, you Julie and your name is Leslie. Right. So you yeah. did some more digging after that. What happened? Yeah. Uh, so then I went um, to his Instagram and checked his DMs and I saw that some screen name, some handle with the name like, I think it was like Julie. XO, XO, it had the name Julie in it, um, had been messaging him, and there were no responses to what she had been sending from him, but the things that she was sending were, or like, pictures, and they weren't, like, nudes or anything, but, <laughs> excuse me, um, but it was definitely, you know, like, duck lips and her cleavage was ah. showing, and they were kind of sexy pictures, but, but he hadn't responded, so... Um, <laughs> I don't know. And then I checked to see, well, maybe he talked to her on a different app. And I checked to see if he had WhatsApp, but he doesn't have WhatsApp. So so now I'm just at a loss, which is why I contacted you guys. Okay, we're going to step in. We're going to step in. We have all we need to know. You stay there. Let us get on this. And hang on for one second. Leslie is on the phone, guys. Uh, her husband called her Julie. Okay. I mean. Right? Now, I've done that before where uh, I, I would say like Sissini. Oh, it happens. Somebody. All the time with you and Michael's names. It happens to me with Kelly and yeah, Mark and, he, and Mark and Kelly as well. And Kelly calls me Mark. It's like and yeah. she calls me Joaquin sometimes. <laughs> Kelly Ripa. <laughs> and which are her teenage son, which doesn't say a lot about me, probably about growing up. Anyway. Um so we then found out that he'd been texting corresponding with Julie. So she did this digging, she went into his DMs, she saw some DMs from a screen name that well, was she Julie. saw inappropriate pictures. Well, and the pictures came along. She's sending him pictures. Mm-hmm. So he's communicating on a comfort level that is inappropriate. Yeah. Let's see. We're going to call him now, and we're going to offer him roses. We're going to try and find out who he sends them to. Um, all I need you to do right now is say, Ryan, you have my permission to call, and then your husband's name on Kiss FM. Go ahead. Ryan, you have my permission to call on Kiss FM. Okay, we're going to call him now, and... Let's see what happens. Stay very, very quiet, okay? Until okay. we get all the information we need and tell him he's on the air. Are you ready? Yes. Here we go. Hello? Hi, is this Kenneth? Oh, yeah, this is Kenneth. Hi, Kenneth. My name is Holly. I'm calling from Beautiful Blooms. We're actually a brand new flower shop uh, here on Millican near, you know where the Coles is? Um, oh, yeah, yeah. I know where that's at. Cool. Wonderful. So we're new to the area, and the reason I'm calling is because we're offering a chance for local residents to send free flowers to somebody. So it's actually a dozen red roses that you would receive for free today. I don't need any credit card info or anything from you, just the name of the person you want to send the roses to. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Um, send them to my wife, Leslie. Can okay. you put a note that says Happy Thursday? Happy Thursday. Right. Cool. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Um, uh, Ken, it is Ryan Seacrest. Your voice is being broadcast on the radio. I need you to know that. Uh, I, oh. have your, I have your wife, Leslie, on the phone. And Leslie, you just heard he sent the roses to you that says Happy Thursday. But, Ken, the reason we're calling is because she saw in your DMs pictures sent from Julie that were inappropriate. What's going on with you oh. and Julie? <laughs> yeah, uh, I you know, I think she if she saw th- those pictures are from like a spam account. I'm pretty sure those are just from a spam account. So uh. 
what what it was all of the same girl I mean, it's not, they weren't like nudes or anything. It wasn't like she was propositioning you. You know, we've all gotten those fan things, but, but it was a specific person sending you pictures, babe. I don't, yeah, I don't know who she is though, honey. I don't know. I I didn't reply back to her, so. I know, but, well, well what about the girl in your contact, in your phone? There's a Julie in your contact. Julie in my Oh, that's Julie from work, though. I work with Julie, yeah. That's a girl I work with. Is that the so. same person? No, not at all. That's How totally do you know not it's the not the same person? Because um, Julie emails me from work. We we never even texted each other before, so well, I've never... You, Ken, do never you know you called her. your wife Leslie Julie? Do you know that? No, I called you Julie. I... I was yes, probably just right. I, I was thing. just thinking about work probably that Yeah, but see Ken, it. here's the thing. It seems to me now I'm not putting words in Leslie's mouth, but it seems to me that Julie, whoever whichever Julie is on your brain. So why? I couldn't you know, I'm probably just thinking about work, honey. I probably all it is. Don't you think it's a little it's a little, you know, weird or suspicious that you call me the name and then it, it just so happens that, that there's somebody with that name DMing you pictures of her of her boobs almost falling out of her shirt. I mean, maybe that's a little that's weird. A, you see how this looks? I can kind of see how it looks, but that's not how it is. I Ken, let me just that. ask you that's because we got a lot of people involved here uh, listening to this. Are you cheating on Leslie? No. Are you not electronically cheating on, cheating on Leslie through mm. these pictures with Julie? Well, I'm not. Well, why did you click on them? Because when you send a DM on Instagram, the picture is blurry until you tap it. I did not know that. And I might have looked at them real fast just to see if it was spam. I didn't know. It just came through probably. Okay. Didn't right. you think after the first one you would decide to maybe block that person? Yeah, why didn't you why 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 didn't you block her or delete her or or something? I, I don't know. I just I wasn't know. thinking about it. Maybe I'll go and block her now. I wasn't thinking about it. It it honestly I wasn't thinking about it. All right, listen, Leslie, you know your husband better than any of us on this call. So you'll have to take what you hear from him and decide whether or not you think he's telling the truth. I gotta let you both go, okay? Okay. Don't even don't even say anything yet. Let's come back in a second. What do you think? Do you think Ken is cheating on his wife, Leslie, with Julie? I do. I really, really do. Why do you think that so clearly? Because I think he um, knew it was us. He didn't really hesitate to send the flowers to his wife right away. And I know that when you get a DM on Instagram, if you don't know the person, you don't follow them, the picture comes up like blurry, almost like black. And then you have to, they do that for protection. And so then you have to tap it almost two times sometimes to even get it to show up. So after the first picture was sent, he should have blocked that woman if it was spam. And he didn't. I look I, at all my photos. I look at all my photos too. Yeah. I don't if I don't know them. Sorry. No, I don't know if I don't know them. So I just check sometimes. But <laughs> you know, then I realize I don't know them. <laughs> Patty? I don't think he's cheating, but he's definitely having conversations with her and he's probably asking her for these pictures that's and then cheating. she deletes well not physical cheating but mm. you guys can argue about the definition of yeah. cheating yeah. to the cows cometh but he's definitely <laughs> asking for pictures from her all right i i just don't know i this one's this one doesn't feel good but it's unclear to me yeah, i i can't stumper. be as crystal clear on this one and it's I, so crystal clear. All right, but I'm just telling you, I I don't I don't feel I don't feel great. So Leslie's gonna have to determine what she wants to do and what she thinks. But I wouldn't want to be married to Patty, him. Patty, you would you would stay with him? I think depends on the conversation that we have just between us two. Mm hmm. Well, here we are, you and me. Mm hmm. If it was you doing this to me, yeah, and you came uh you were being really honest with me and you told me and you showed me everything and there was just nothing else to say anymore and you were just completely transparent with me okay i would be upset with you for a few weeks um but then yes i would forgive you do i still get the roses <laughs> i would forgive you all right i'm uncomfortable with this scenario <laughs> let's Same. move on let's go all right but thank you for forgiving us Sissy, thank you for your honesty